morning, everyone. Hello. Morning. Hello. 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 I feel like we're a little low on numbers today, and it might have something to do with that David Walliams stealing my limelight at 11 o'clock. Hello, Neil. Hello, Riley. Hello. Hello, Jack. Uh, hello. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, my goodness. Lots of people. We're all joining. Hello. How are you all today? How's it going? It's day three. Yeah, not so well. <laughs> Hello, that's okay. We're not dancing yet. Don't worry that you're late. Not a problem. Hello, Ollie. We're just getting sorted. Hopefully, can you all hear me? Just give me a little thumbs up if you can hear me. And uh, a love if you like my t-shirt. Look at that. Yes. Um, let to get Oscar. Hello. Hi, Lewis and Zach. We'll just start in it. I'll just say hello to as many people as I can. Hi, Poppy and Noah. Hello, Lacey and Demi. Hello. Let me just get Oscar to say hello as well. Whoa. He is. Say hello. Hello. How are you all? Oscar has been out in the morning and been for a run as well. Um, and is looking forward to going out in the garden again soon. There we go. Right. Let's make a start, shall we? Hi, everyone. Hello. Right. So I promised we'd do some more poetry and sign language. Today, and that we are going to do a few things from yesterday. Some of you asked about the books that I showed you, and they were Welcome to My Crazy Life by Siegel and Gorilla Ballerina by Neil Zetter. Okay, those were the books that I read from yesterday. Some of you also asked if you could see some more of my sketchbook from when I was a little child of about 10 or 11 um and i will show you now so that was i think my mum did that for me and i drew that <laughs> and what else have we got here and i think i drew that as well puff the magic dragon Lived by the sea, da, 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 da. and then that's it really for that. So, poem this morning. Our poem this morning is At the Zoo by William Makepeace Thackeray. And it's got lots of animals for us to learn with the sign language. Okay, so I'll read it to you first. It's quite a short one, this one. And then we'll have a go at learning it together when you all get to join in, okay? Okay, so it goes like this. First I saw the white, then I saw the black. Then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the grey wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw the wombat waddle in the straw. Then I saw the elephant a waving of his trunk. Then I saw the monkey. Mercy, how unpleasantly they smelt. And that is At the Zoo by William Mate Peace Thackeray. A lot shorter today. I love the ending because I always think it should be. Then I, because it goes, then I saw the elephant or waving of his trunk. Then I saw the merc monkeys. Mercy, how unpleasantly they stunk. I always feel it should be. Um, but I think the idea is that the monkeys are so smelly that it takes us out of the rhyme scheme and it just hits us at the end and stands completely on its own. So, got some sign language for us to learn. Um, this is how it goes. I'll go so I'll do the whole thing first of all and go really slowly. So it goes 
first I saw the white bear, then I saw the black, then I saw the camel with the hump upon his back, then I saw a grey wolf with mutton in his maw, then I saw a wombat a waddle in the straw, then I saw the elephant a waving of his trunk, then I saw the monkeys, how unpleasantly they smelt. Okay, we'll go really slowly and carefully now. Are you all standing up, first of all? Parents, are you joining in? Grandparents, are you joining in? Are you? Are you really? Are you stood up? Mrs. Sheehy, are you stood up? Okay, I believe you. Okay, then. So, this is how it goes, then. So, it goes, first, I saw, you might remember that one from yesterday, first, I saw, and then white, like that, sort of like a flick. Then I saw the white bear, the bear. Then I saw the black. Go. So first I saw the white bear, then I saw the black. Got that? First I saw the white bear, then I saw the black. Okay? So then, this one's easy, then I saw. That one again. <laughs> then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Let's go from the beginning. Ready? Okay, let's go. First I saw the white bear. Then I saw the black. Then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the grey. Now a G in the alphabet is G, so grey is a twist of the top one. So then I saw the grey wolf, like his pointy face, wolf, with mutton in his maw. Now there isn't actually a sign for mutton, is like meat. So, meat. so you both get your neck and twist it forward. Got that? Should we try that bit? So, then I saw the grey wolf with mutton in his maw. I wonder if you can work out what maw means. M A W, maw. Any ideas? If he had mutton in his maw, any ideas what that could be? See if you can post about it. Okay. Then it goes, then I saw the elephant a waving of his trunk. So you just do his trunk. So then I saw an elephant a waving of his trunk. Oh no, we've missed the one bit. Sorry, then I saw the wombat waddle in the straw. We need a little here, I feel so like you know, it can be that, it could be that, um, it could be after it's been in quarantine, sleeping, not that I know anyone where that's happening. So then I saw a, a waddle in the straw. Then I saw the elephant, a waving of its trunk. Then I saw the monkeys. Mercy, how unpleasant the melt. Okay? Have you all that? Have you all got that? Mouse, mouse, mouse. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is wrong with my mouth? Oh, you're answering the question for what is a more. See, I'm a bit of 
head to on this one, but it's okay. Right, let's put it all together. So it goes. First I saw the white bear, then I saw the black. Then I saw a camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the grey wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw a wombat in the straw. Then I saw an elephant a waving off his trunk. I don't know how long that trunk was there then i saw the monkeys mercy how unpleasantly they smell Woo. okay we'll go one more time i hope you're all ready to go are we ready oh, i'm out of breath already okay after three one two three. First, i saw a white bear then I saw the black. Then I saw a camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the grey wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw a wombat all in the straw. Then I saw an elephant a waving of his trunk. Then I saw... The monkeys, mercy, how unpleasantly they smelt. Woo! Okay, how did you get on with that? Are there any bits that are tricky that you'd like me to go over? Is everyone okay with it? And then what I thought we'd do is have a write of them together and then see if we can remember the signs from yesterday with the owl and the pussycat. Okay, but now if there's anything, I thought it might end with stunk to rhyme. Yes, that's exactly what I was saying. And I was saying, I think it's probably because then I saw the monkeys, mercy, how unpleasantly they smelt. Um, the, the narrator is so sort of taken back by the... Um, the smell of the monkeys that it takes us out of the rhyme scheme. Neil Zetzer might be able to help us as he's actually a professional poet. That's my thoughts about it. Mercy, how I'm best to sound better, but it's like, whoa, it's so smelly. It's okay. okay, let's go then. After three. There, bit four, Mrs. Ballard. Okay, so. It goes, first I saw the white, white bear, then I saw black. So it's a fist down the side of your chin. Okay. So first, sorry, first I saw the white bear, then I saw the black. Yep, let's go for the beginning then. Yes, everyone's standing up. Everyone ready to go. Okay. First I white. white. Then I saw the black. Then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back. Then I saw the grey wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw a wombat, a waddle in the straw. Then I saw the elephant a waving of his trunk. Then I saw the monkeys. Mercy! How unpleasantly they smelt. Yes, well done. Okay. Now, we're going to have a go. I'll go through how to write your own one now, okay? So let's just wipe the off board and I will show you how you can have a go at writing your own one okay so it goes like this so first I saw and their one is um, first I saw the white bear then I saw the black so you can have first I saw the color animal yep 
Yep. Then I saw the and explain why. So we could have, can I have a colour and an animal, please? Anyone got a colour and an animal for us? So first, first I thought bear only has one syllable as well, so just remember that. Um, so first I saw the pink cat, the orange, so an animal. With first. I saw, and I saw the and another colour. Anyone any idea is Black Panther? Mm, yes, yeah, first saw the black. We need one, one syllable, really. Um, for something, let's have a white dog. Thank you, Michelle. White dog. Brown. And then it goes, then I saw the camel with a hump upon his back, but we want another one. So it's be, then I saw the camel, two syllables there. Anyone think of animal? Let's have, um, oh, Thanks, Scott. Let's have panda. Then I saw the panda. Saw the, oh, sorry. First I saw the white dog. Then I saw the brown. Then I saw the panda with a very sad, you can guess what it's going to be. Frown. Now, about those words there, children. Both the same colour, so they both rhyme. Brilliant. So first I saw the white dog, then I saw the brown, then the very sad frown. I'm not sure about that rhyme scheme there, but it's fine. Okay, what else have we got next? Then I saw the grey wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw the wombat waddle in the straw. So that's all you need to keep with text. Then I saw the flamingo. What do flamingos do? Then I saw the flamingo standing on one leg, maybe? Um, then I saw the fl flamingo. It doesn't quite go that. Hmm. I don't like the flamingo bit because it makes us trip over it a little bit. Can you think of an animal, maybe? Then I saw the, they've got grey wolf with mutton in his maw. Then I saw the, let's have, oh yeah, let's have red fox then. Then I saw the red mutton in with what could he have in his mouth with a chicken, maybe with a chicken, and let's go in let's use that word more in his more um actually. Let purple more. Then I da 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 da. Sometimes with more, I did love, love it. the red for the chicken in his maw. Then I saw a what could we have next? Then I saw a hippo. Or oh. oh Something with claws, maybe, and it could be sharpening its claws. Then I saw the tiger, a sharpening. Well, let's 
laws there we go so that is what's called rhyming cuts the poem is written gets a bald rubber yes mrs cowie um, <laughs> the poems written in rhyming cuts. okay so first i saw the white dog then i saw the brown then i saw the pan brown then the more a sharpen in her claws yeah got it so that's what you can do if you want to have a go at writing your own little rhyming couplet zoo poem okay now now day because you know how yesterday we had neil letter and joshua siegel reading well um some other poet friends have said that we can read out some of their poems as well and these are really really great funny poems um that are quite difficult to read the first one is from this book by matt goodfellow and it's illustrated by alexi biscoff biscoff um and it's called bright bursts of color Really good, really good. Now, the poem that I'm going to read, keeping with that animal theme, is about a special badger. I believe that's the sign for badger, like the stripe upon its back. Um, and this one is very, very, very difficult to read. So I'm going to need to put my glasses on to make sure that I can read it properly. <clears throat> Yeah, okay, I think I've got it. So, this is called A Special Badger, and it's by Matt Goodfellow. I'm not going to be able to get this right. If I get this right, because it's a bit of a tongue twister, um, then could I please have some team points or a loud cheer? Okay, here we go. I'm a special kind of badger in a special badger den, writing special badger poems den. And special badger school, earning special badger kudos from my special badger cool, wearing special badger badges, saying badgers are the best, passing special badges, special badger, special badger coffee from a special badger mug. But my special badger problem, I'm actually a slug. Yes, yes, that was almost there. That was almost there with that. Um, not bad not bad i suppose i'll i'll give it a go again i'll try and do it quicker okay i think the glasses help me okay are we ready a special badger i'm a special kind of badger in a special badger den writing special badger programs with a special badger pen learning special badger lessons in a special badger school earning special badger kudos from my special badger call wearing special badger badges Plus special badger interviews and special badger tests. Drinking special badger coffee from a special bag. But my special badger problem, I'm actually a slug. Yes! Woohoo! That was not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Okay. Oh, thank you for the clapping. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. That was a special badger from Bright Burst of Colours, such a wonderful collection of poems. It's published by Bloomsbury Education. I'll put the link to it on the website. So our last poem is from a poem we actually written some poems in the reading realm app. Um, and <laughs> this is possible. Um, where was here we go. Um, this is from a book called, can you see it? Oh, um, This Rock, That Rock, and it's by Dom Conlon. It's illustrating the Schwartz, okay? And their poems all, all about poems all about space and the moon. And again, 
it is again it's a poem that is a bit of a tongue twister i will try again my very best but this one is even harder and this is now itching my face but um i'll give it a go okay oh, yes yes we're ready okay here we go this one is called the maroon baboon a maroon baboon marooned on the moon wish wistfully wished for a moon balloon i was marooned on the moon too soon too soon crooned the moon maroon baboon for a maroon bassoon if only i had a moon balloon i'd sail away on the wind of a tune i'd sail away from now until noon i'd sail away from this dusty old moon Whew. That one was a tricky one. Um, I'll give it a go again faster this time. Um, this one is really difficult. Okay, here we go. A maroon baboon marooned on the moon, wistfully for a moon balloon. I was marooned on the moon too soon, too soon. The moon baboon for a maroon soon. If only I had a moon balloon, I'd sail away from the wind of tune. I'd sail away from night until noon. I'd sail away from this dusty old moon. Yes! There you go. And that is the Maroon Baboon from the wonderful Dom Conlon. And you can, his book is coming out very, very soon. Hey, just to finish off. Thank you. Thank you. Just to finish off, I can take these off now. <laughs> Over our poem from yesterday, which was the and everyone stand up i'm sure some of you have sat down um but if you all stand up at the owl see if we remember went to see people they some honey and plenty of money wrapped up Note. The owl looked up to the stars above and sang on a small guitar. Oh, lovely pussy, oh pussy, my love. What a beautiful pussy you are, you are. What a beautiful pussy you are. Yes! Give yourself a well done if you manage to of that um so we'll just finish off um there are already i've been extra organized this morning um the activities for um at the zoo are already posted on the website and you can also whoop, you can also if you want to you can find in the reading rail map you can actually find at the zoo and there are let me come over here and see if i can show you there are discussion guides and activities um there's grammar games spelling games let's see if i can get this one right elephants the hump and mutton are they correct yay i don't know if you can see you get confetti and ticks and all sorts um but there's also some free activities on the readingrealm.co.uk website um my other thing you know oscar always has a um challenge yesterday was to play with the tennis ball and the day before that was just a shadow well i'll just go and get him because he has another challenge for today Woo <laughs> here he is oh let's just hold him down a bit um here he is now his challenge for today he is feeling a bit grumpy he's feeling a bit grumpy because we usually take him out to the park and he gets to play with lots of dogs and we have a dog walker as well who takes him out once a week and he gets to meet and play with lots of other dogs then 
But because we're only just taking him for walks at the moment, he's missing all his friends. So he would like you to draw some pictures of some other dogs to cheer him up. It can be any dog you want and post it in the Reading Realm Facebook group, some pictures of some dogs. Um, a massive well done to the people that posted their poems in the Reading Realm group yesterday. That's great. Um, so that's pretty much us done. It would be absolutely amazing if you could all invite some cu a couple of people into the group and just tell them about what we're doing um, and hopefully it will help them out. Um, but thank you very much again for today um, and joining us. Um, I hope you all have a really nice day. It's a lovely sunny day out there. It really, really is. Hopefully you've got some things planned and afternoon out in the garden maybe or um i know a lot of people are putting up the rainbow art in their window for children to see as they go out for a walk and that's a really nice thing to do when i took the dog out for a walk yesterday um there were lots of families all staying on either side of the road and things <laughs> oh that's oscar you've seen the cat uh rainbow paintings so, um just to say activities to the poem and the things that we've done today are just a menu of suggestions they are not for they are not meaning that you have any activities but they're there for you um, to them so have we got time some people group that um thank you much for joining us um i enjoyed that one today actually um and thank you to the people that sent videos of children signing yesterday and pictures of their work and things it was really lovely um i hope you've enjoyed it hope you get to go outside and enjoy the sunshine and i shall bid you all a very very and see you all soon okay take care and just love a lot leaf the t-shirt loving it loving it take care everyone bye